Where does Patrick Mahomes rank all time? That's kind of the million dollar question here. Now, there's no actual fact, it's just formulated opinions at this point. If you're new to the channel, you may, may not know that over a year ago when Patrick Mahomes won his second Super Bowl and second Super Bowl MVP, I made almost the same exact video. Where does Patrick Mahomes rank all time? Now, on that list, I ranked him third all time, but now he's won his third Super Bowl, his third Super Bowl MVP. We have to revisit the question. Does he threaten the GOAT status? Is he really top two all time, top three? But let's get right into it. Now, the very next day after the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes went back to back for Super Bowl champions, ESPN articles, blogs everywhere posed the question, where does Patrick Mahomes rank all time? And is Patrick Mahomes the greatest quarterback of all time? Now, I know a lot of fans can get upset with this question because he's only been in the league for seven years. But what he's been able to achieve in only six years as a starter, some all-time greats couldn't even achieve in their full careers. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why this question is valid and where I think Patrick Mahomes ranks all time. Let's get right into it. Before you comment about whether I'm right or wrong or if this question is stupid, the only thing I ask is that you watch the entire video all the way through. That's the only thing I ask. All right, so why is this a valid question? Well, it's very simple and I can answer it in one question. What Patrick Mahomes has achieved in six seasons as a starter in the NFL, some all-time greats couldn't even achieve in their 15-year career. With that being said, the amount of success Mahomes has had just can't even be put into words. So let's take a look at some of those stats. Now let's compare Mahomes to Brady, who also started off his career winning through Super Bowls in about five, six years. So let's kind of compare those numbers and see where Mahomes stacks up and see if he can really threaten this go debate. As you can see, Mahomes has more Super Bowl appearances, four to Brady's three. He also has six AFC Championship game appearances to Brady's four. They have the same amount of Super Bowl wins, three apiece. Mahomes has one more Super Bowl MVP. And to be honest, I don't know how Brady won Super Bowl MVP his first season because he had one touchdown and one interception in that playoff run, but it is what it is. Patrick Mahomes has two league MVPs, and this is where it kind of gets very eye opening. Mahomes has 9,000 total more passing yards than Tom Brady, 90 more touchdowns, and 17 less interceptions. So Mahomes is currently blowing these stats out of the water. Now we all know Brady was in the league for 23 seasons and he passed for about 90,000 yards, six, 700 passing touchdowns, but Mahomes is on pace. If he plays, let's say only 17 seasons, he is on pace to break those records. Now this is hardly a hot take, but Mahomes had a better start to his career than Brady did. You could also argue that Brady had a better team and defense around him to win these Super Bowls. So comparing Mahomes to arguably the greatest quarterback of all time in the beginning of their career is also why this is a very valid point. Now I'm going to show you a couple of stats that Patrick Mahomes falls into that are with the all-time greats. There are only three quarterbacks in NFL history with at least two Super Bowl wins, two Super Bowl MVPs, and two regular season league MVPs. Those names, Tom Brady, Joe Montana, and Patrick Mahomes. So he's already joined elite company. In 2022, Patrick Mahomes won regular season MVP, Super Bowl MVP, and he led the NFL in passing touchdowns and passing yards. Only three players have done this in their whole career, and Patrick Mahomes just did it in one season. Those quarterbacks are Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and Kurt Warner. Now, there are only five quarterbacks in NFL history with multiple league MVPs and Super Bowl wins. Tom Brady, Joe Montana, Steve Young, Peyton Manning, and Patrick Mahomes. So, now that I've thrown those at you, now let's dive into the discussion of why Patrick Mahomes can be the GOAT when it's all said and done. So, in 2021, the Kansas City Chiefs traded away Tyreek Hill. Since then, won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. And people will argue that this season, the Chiefs had the worst offensive roster in terms of receivers, and they still won the Super Bowl. Led the NFL in drops. Their wide receivers let them down multiple times throughout the season with big plays down the stretch, lining up offsides, dropping game-winning touchdowns, etc. And they still went and won the Super Bowl. The Chiefs had to go on the road for the division round, the AFC Championship game, and pretty much the Super Bowl. In that run, they beat two number one seeds, and one number two seed. They're one of six teams in NFL history to beat two number one seeds and a number two seed in the same playoffs. 
The Chiefs also beat the second, third, fourth, and sixth ranked offenses in the playoffs. They beat the first, third, and fourth ranked defenses in the playoffs. They're the only team in NFL history to beat three top four offenses and three top four defenses in a single playoff run. They just did that with one of the worst receiving core Patrick Mahomes has had in his entire career. Now, let's say the upgrade just a little at the wide receiver position, maybe go out and get a Mike Evans. I don't know, maybe Nicole Hardman turns into a wide receiver one. They're going to get rid of Kadarius Toney, but let's say they go out and they get a solidified you know, wide receiver too. There's no reason why they can't three-peat. Injuries is the only thing that's going to stop this team from three-peating. The defense is young. They have Chris Jones. They have George Karlofkas, Willie Gay, Nick Bolton, Trent McDuffie, Legereus Snead. They have Mike Edwards. I mean, this team is stacked and they have two very young corners and a great defensive coordinator in Steve Stepagnola, who just signed another three year deal to stay with the Chiefs. There's no reason why this team couldn't win a couple more championships. Now, let's take Brady's scenario and copy it over to Mahomes' scenario. Let's say over the next 10 years, Mahomes only wins two Super Bowls. He's still on pace to break Brady's record. At that point, he'll have five Super Bowls and he'll still have a couple years left. If he wins at least one more and goes and gets six, then I think he can be the greatest quarterback of all time. In terms of just a pure quarterback, arm talent, ability to scramble, make throws on the run, everything, I think he's the greatest raw quarterback ever. Now, Brady is the greatest football player and greatest quarterback of all time. But once it's all said and done, I think Patrick Mahomes will have dethroned Tom Brady. Now, in terms of my top 10 quarterbacks of all time, here's the list for you. A lot of people may not have Patrick Mahomes at number two, but I do. And one of the main reasons why I have him there is because since trading Tyreek Hill, they've won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. But he has three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two regular season MVPs. I mean, if you, if you just watch him play football, he is electric. He's clutch. So many game-winning drives. Uh, all the stats back it up. Patrick Mahomes is, in my opinion, the second greatest quarterback of all time. With all that being said, where do you rank Patrick Mahomes all time? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Start a discussion. Why do you think he should be top two? Why do you not think? Do you think he's the greatest quarterback of all time right now? Let me know all that in the comments below. But hopefully you all enjoyed. And as always, I will see you all next video. Peace.